Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel connections in STAD Pro using RAM connection. In this video, we will focus on designing our beam column web connections to resist any moment reactions. We will now turn our attention back to the sample model that is supplied with this training. In the previous video, we assigned shear connections to all of the beam column web joints. What you will notice, however, is that several of the beams framing into the beam column web joints were analyzed as fixed, meaning that there is a moment reaction that, also, that must also be resisted through connection design. So let's begin our workflow for selecting the beam to column web joints where the beams are fixed. To filter on the fixed joints, we're going to use our select connections command. To filter the selection based on our fixed beam column web joints, we're going to use our select joints command and then tell the program we want to select special joints. We want the program to grab our beam column web joints and we want to filter on our fixed end beams. Now that we've selected the appropriate joints, we're ready to assign a connection. In the connection design tab in the ribbon toolbar, Click on the Smart Connection icon. We need to select a smart connection for a beam column web joint that is capable of resisting moment reactions. And for this, we'll select a directly welded beam column web template. We will grab our available template and move it over to the selected area. Once this process is complete, we'll click OK to start assigning connections. Now we're going to be asked if we would like to replace the connections that are already assigned to the currently selected joints. We are going to click the No to All button to ensure that our shear connections are still remain assigned to those joints, but now we just want to add a connection that can also resist moments. We are going to see that every joint that is selected has been assigned a connection, and we're going to review the status, and they all pass the code check. If you would like to review any of these joints, you could just double click on them in the RAM connection input dialog to view your connection pad. This completes our process for assigning connections to our beam column web joints to resist their moment reactions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.